Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about acid reflux and what causes acid reflux and also how to cure acid reflux. So acid reflux is a situation where your stomach acid and the contents of your stomach, whatever that is, is kind of coming right up into your throat, up through your esophagus, into your mouth, into the back of your throat. It's not quite like being sick, but it's similar. It's just that feeling of this, this reflux of acid coming into your mouth. And it feels kind of, to most people that experience it, it feels like burning sensation. It's a bit of a burning sensation. And my own experience of acid reflux is kind of interesting because when I was younger, I my front two teeth here, these have always been veneers since I was 12 or 13 years old. And by veneers, I mean that there's... There's a tooth, there's a real tooth under there, but it's covered over. And the reason that it's covered over is because they wore down, the two teeth wore down. And the dentist was kind of confused as to why my teeth had worn down. So I went to the dental hospital and they were kind of surprised by it as well. And they wanted to, it was kind of a rare thing and they wanted me to, um, to be involved in some study or, or, be like a subject that students could come and have a look at or something like that because this was an unusual thing and they also got referred to the hospital and I went to a, like a consultant or a, a doctor and he talked about acid reflux and he said um, that basically there's a, like a valve and for some people it doesn't work as well or whatever so it opens and, and the acid can come back up and I, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works but that's my memory of what he said so I would get this quite a lot when I was younger, acid reflux. Um, you know, and it wasn't particularly pleasant, but it, it doesn't really affect your life that much. But apparently this was potentially what was, potentially what was eroding my front two teeth, apparently. Or maybe I was grinding them at night, I don't know, but that was, that was the theory. And for many years I had that, but I think it kind of went away a lot. It, it wasn't happening so much when I got older, I think, when I was an adult. But probably did happen now and then. But the interesting thing is that since I've been eating a lot of fruit, the fruit diet, and changed to a raw vegan fruit-based diet, I can still get acid reflux at times. But it's completely different because it actually tastes like water or it feels like water rather than it being like stomach acid or rather than it being like acid. And this is an interesting point to me because a lot of people talk about the acids in fruit and how acidic fruit is. And they talk about, the, and so they connect acid with fruit and erosion and, you know, and it's going to damage all this stuff and, you know, don't put fruit there, it'll erode it away and, <laughs> or whatever. And in reality, we metabolize fruit and vegetables. It's the, the, Metabolic byproducts are are um, neutral rather than being acidic or alkaline. At least I believe that's the case. That it, that basically the it's basically water and CO two or something like that that get metabolized. So it's not it's it's neither um, neither acidic or not acidic basically. So the question is not when you're talking about creating acid in the body or acidic response it's not about the acid in the food it's about how that reacts with the rest of the body and what's really happening with your stomach acid is that when your body has to when your stomach has to break something down that's more complex to break down it's going to have to produce more acid it's going to have to to have more acid to do that and Particularly high protein foods require more acid to be broken down for digestion. So whenever you're eating meat or cheese or things like that, it requires more stomach acid to be broken down. Whereas fruit just gets digested so quickly by the body. Because our body is adapted towards the digestion of fruit, the, the very quick and easy digestion of fruit. Because fruit is mostly water. It's fibre, which is indigestible, so that passes through your system without digestion. It's sugar that goes into your, your system pretty easily without much digestion. 
and it's a whole lot of nutrients but there's not really a lot to be broken down it gets broken down mechanically in your mouth into a mush and then it goes into your stomach and then it passes through that into your system for the you know the sugars to be taken up so the digestion of fruit is very simple easy for the body that's not causing acid reflux what's causing acid reflux is the digestion of things that were not adapted towards digestion in the large amounts that we eat today like meat like dairy products like uh, cheese and things like that they're high in protein eggs they're high in protein and require a lot of acid to be broken down or require more digestive effort more stomach acid to be broken down now you might think it's not as simple as that there's probably much more to it than that but that's my kind of layman's way of looking at it but i was really surprised when i started when i got a bit of stomach acid after eating even the most acidic fruits whether it's citrus or lemons or whatever not that i eat lemons but i maybe added lemons to something and it was like water it was literally like the same feeling as having just a a watery liquid into your mouth there was no particular flavor to it there was no burning sensation there was nothing harsh about it so anyone you know that experiences acid reflux they're maybe taking um, these pills uh, I used to take some of them as well they they basically neutralize stomach acid or the, but that's not necessarily good if you're trying to digest something you kind of want it to be digested so it's not a long-term solution the best thing to do is to start switching your diet away from high protein to a lower protein uh, or yeah lower fat lower protein diet preferably vegan um, raw vegan is the best fruit fruit is the easiest food to digest so this so don't connect acid with fruit don't connect acid reflux with fruit acid reflux connect that with high protein with meat with complex protein filled foods and if you have acid reflux experiment with eating more fruit experiment with just fruit fruit based diet or a, a, a vegan diet and and i think you'll find that you'll get a benefit from that okay thank you hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more i've got loads in this channel like over 500 or something following my raw vegan journey over the past five or six years and you can subscribe below you can hit the notification button if you want to get notified about future videos and you can uh, share this with other people and if you do want to learn more about this fruit based lifestyle you can come to the UK fruit festival this year I'll put a link down below and you can um, follow that link and you can find out more about the festival and you can register if you like so thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video bye